Hello, hola, it is Taco Tuesday. Oh, yes, I want to order two tacos, please. Yes, what would I like on my tacos? I would like adjectives on one tacos. Yes, like I like spicy tacos and I like green lettuce and orange shredded cheese. And I like creamy sour cream. So adjectives, please, on one. And on my second taco, oh, let's see. Um, I will take adverbs on my second taco. Yes, I will eat them slowly. Yes, I will eat them slowly. I will enjoy them deliciously. Yes, and let's see what else would I like on my tacos. My adverb taco. Um, um, I will eat them joyfully. I love tacos. Yes, yes. How much, senor? Some more? Five, five dollars? Oh, five? Five pesos. Oh, okay. I will be right back. You just, yes, get my tacos ready. I just can't wait to eat my wonderful tacos. Yes, okay. I'll be right back. Okay, just a moment. Okay, let me get my money. Yes, I'm looking. I'm looking for my mic. Just one moment, please. One moment. Oh, okay. Here's my mic. Okay. Here's my mic. Five dollars. Yes, five pesos. Here's... What? Where's my tacos? Where are my tacos? You what? You gave my tacos away? Where are my tacos? My crunchy tacos. My tacos. I'm going to eat so slowly. Yes, my spicy tacos. My delicious tacos. Where are my tacos? What? So you gave them to Senor Bob? Senor Bob, you gave them to? And I have to pay you? What he say I have? He has no money? I have to give you the money, but he gets the tacos? Oh, I don't know, Senor Bob. I want my tacos. I want my adjective and adverb tacos. Yes. Oh, Senor Bob. Okay, here's the money. You may have it. Oh, okay, boys and girls. Yes. It is Taco Tuesday, and it's phonics time. Are you ready? We have to have some fun. Only one more Taco Tuesday left. Whew, that bothers my upper lip. How these men do it with mustache, I don't know, but Senior Bob, who took my delicious adjective and adverb tacos, I don't know. I'll take care of him later. Hey, how are you today? I am very well. Can you tell? Lots of, lots of energy today. We need lots of energy because we're going to work on our phonics and talk about adjectives and adverbs in the same sentence. But guess what? It'll be a piece of cake for you. <gasps> cake? Don't tell Senior Bob. He'll want our cake. Yes, I made chocolate cake last night. Yes, chocolate frosting on top. Would you like a piece? You would? <gasps> okay, meet me at the corner. Don't tell Bob. Meet me at the corner of the street there, and I'll hand it off to you. We'll drive by, and I'll throw it in your window, and you catch it. I can't throw cake in your window. I would surely miss. You know Mrs. Craft isn't very good at that stuff. Well, anyway, here we go. We are going to work on our spelling words. Yeah, one more spelling test. Remember, I'm, we're on list 32. We skipped a bunch of those lessons, and we're on list 32. Today, for list 32, you are also going to do number three, I'm pretty sure. Let me look at my paper. Let's see, fill in number three. That's right, on page 65. So make sure you're filling those in because on May 15th, when we get all our stuff done, you're going to bring me your spelling book, your health book, your reading book, and I'm going to look through your books and see how you did and all your papers. We're going to get all your wonderful grades together, and it'll be proof of what a wonderful student you are because you are terrific. You're sensational, really. Okay, Senor Bob. Hmm. He's, he's sensational too. We are going to do our words, but today I thought it would be fun if we do it the Mexican hat dance way. Now I am sitting, if I stand up, you won't be able to see the words. So you are going to stand up. Okay. Yep. I want you to stand up and here's how you do the Mexican hat dance. It says alternate feet in front of you each time you chant leather. So if these are my feet, I'm going to go um, the first word is beach. B E A C H beach. Kind of do a little kick, a little kick each time. Okay. And at the end, you want to say, Ole! Can you say, Ole? Let me hear you. Oh, come on. You can do better than that. Ole! That's right. Okay. So we're going to spell the words. Kick. I'm going to kick with my hands. You're going to kick with your feet. And at the end, we're going to go, Ole! Okay. Wait a minute. Where is my little shaker thing? I need my shaker. Maybe I can shake. And say ole at the same time, okay? Do you have a, maybe you have a baby rattle around your house or a baby toy or what else? A squeaky toy from your cat or your dog or something. Maybe you squeak it when we say ole, okay? If you have that, hit the pause button, go run and grab it, then come back and join us, okay? 
Are you right? The words that are covered up, remember, we're passing right by those. We are just going to clip clop right along today. Okay, I can't pick this up until I get done because my feet are going to be kicking. My feet, my imaginary feet. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Beach, B E A C H, beach. Olay! Crab, C R A B, crab. Olay! Spray, S P R A Y, spray. Olay! Bucket. B U C K E T bucket. Away! Do you need to take a breath? Are you out of breath? Here we go. We're going up to number seven, doc. Okay, are you ready? Doc. D O C K doc. Away! Sunscreen. You better have sunscreen on those hot days. S U N S C R E E N sunscreen. Away! Okay, here we go. Down to number 10, sailboat. Sailboat. S-A-I-L-B-O-A-T, sailboat. Olé! Okay, water. W-A-T-E-R, water. Olé! Okay, jellyfish. J-E-L-L-Y-F-I-S-H, jellyfish. Olé! Shark. S-H-A-R-K, shark. Olé! Two, let's see, four more. Shell. S H E L L shell. Olay! Sky. S K Y. Sky. Olay! C S E A C. Olay! Sand. S A N D. Sand. Olay! And our vocabulary word is coast. C O A S T. Coast. The land by the sea. Oh! Good job, boys and girls. Maybe mommy and daddy got involved in that too, and they said Olay, and maybe they were kicking their feet. Okay, so we got our spelling words all done. Today in phonics, we're going to do a bunch of review. I would like for you to go find your little dry whiteboard for me. Mrs. Crack put hers down after all that. My big, giant $5 bill. Wouldn't that be nice? I, well, it wouldn't be nice to carry a big $5 bill like this, but it would be nice if we had lots of $5 bills, wouldn't it? I want you to find your dry white board and a marker, okay, because you're going to practice some words, and let's see how you do today. Special sounds. That's right, special sounds. We've been practicing lots of special sounds. Let's see if you can hear them in the words and write them down. First of all, I'm going to give you a word. I want you to write down all the special sounds you can hear and you can find, okay? I want you to write down the, all the special sounds in strongest, strongest. Write down all the special sounds you hear and the word strongest. He was the strongest boy in the class. Okay, I'm going to write mine while you write yours. Strongest. You know, sometimes you can put that little dash between them, that line, that slanted line like we've done before, or you can just leave a space between them. And if you want to keep points, you can leave, um, you can do a little box at the top. Okay. Whew, that wore me out doing spelling. Did it wear you out? Okay, you ready? Let's check our answer. Strongest. That's right. It should have stir and stream, ong and long, and est and biggest. For every one that you got right, give yourself a point. So this would be worth three points. Okay, three points. Only if you got two right, give yourself two points. Okay, one right, one point. Okay, let's do the next one. Here we go. Are you ready? Write all the special sounds you hear in blankets, blankets. Dad said bring three blankets camping with us, blankets. Write down all the special sounds you can hear in blankets. Okay, you got them? Okay, let's check our answer. If you need more time, hit that pause button, okay? In blankets, there's bull and block and ank and bank. Did you get those two? They're worth two points. One, two. If you got one, give yourself one point. Good job. You guys are so smart. So very smart. Here we go. Next word is, okay, be careful on this one. Pounded. Pounded. Um, Grandpa pounded the nail into the board. Pounded. Okay, did you get them written down? Hit the pause button if you need more time. This is worth two points. Pound it, ow and out, 
and duh and played, pounded. Good job. How many people got both of those right? Okay, good job. So two points, seven points, the most that you can have right now. Okay, here we go. The next one. Ooh, okay, be careful on this one. Checkers, checkers. Grandma brought the game of checkers camping with us. Checkers. Checkers. Okay. Checkers. Okay, are you ready? Okay, hit the pause button if you need. Okay, are you ready to check your answer for checkers? Checkers. Okay, let's see how many points you get this time. Okay, you used to have chut in church, cut in duck, and er in bigger. That's right, checkers. You got them all? If you have all three, give yourself three points. If you have two, two points, one, one point. Okay, good job. I'm going to write my three points up there. Okay, the next word. Okay, you ready? This is your last one. So work carefully on it, okay? The last word is campfire. Campfire. What special sounds do you hear in campfire? Campfire. Okay, you ready? Okay, let's check. There's only one. Ire in fire. If you got that one, give yourself one point. We're going to move on and do something different, but you still need your board. Keep your points. If you have 100% so far, you should have 11 points. Okay, now I want you to write down as many E sounds, as many special sounds that say E as you can think of. Okay, so you write down as many E special sounds that you can hear for E, E, they make an E sound. They might have other letters with them, but I want them to be the E sound. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and do as many as you can think of. I'm going to write mine, you write yours. I have six. I have six. Can you think of any more than that? Senor Bob, could you think of more than that? Okay. Are you ready? Hit the pause button if you need more time. Here we go. I have E and me. Do you have that one? If you do, cross it off. Okay. Do you have E and leaf? If you do, cross it off. E in key. Cross it off. Okay. E in brownie. Did you think of that one? Yeah. E in baby. Mm -hmm. And E in rainy. If you have all those, count how many cross ones off. If you have six, you're going to get six points, okay? Now, what if you only got three? Give yourself three points. Three points is better than no points, okay? Good job. So I'm going to put down six points. One, two, three, four, five, six. You got that? Okay. One more thing we're going to do. Don't erase your points. Just erase those more, those letters. Okay. This time, I want you to write down all the special sounds that say er, er, have an er sound in them. Okay. Write as many special sounds as you can that say er. I can think of three right off the bat. Can you think of those? Okay. Write as many as you can think of. You know, instead of er, r, er, er, an r sound, they have an r sound in. I'm going to go bigger and broader. Okay, bigger and broad, broader. Because there could be one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine of them. Let's see how many you have. Okay, let's see how many you can find. Er, or have an er sound in them. Now remember, they have other letters with them. Okay. Okay, are you ready to check? Hit the pause button if you need more time, but I'm going to show you so we can keep things moving along. Okay, cross off the ones you get right, okay? Er in verse, er in nurse, er in bird. Those were the first three that I would think of, okay? Er, wor and worm, okay, worm. Er in earth, I know it has other letters, but it says er sound, er in earth. Er and bigger, er and wrinkle, er and sailor, 
Er and dollar. Er. Did you get any of those? If you got all nine of those, then you get nine points, but as many as you crossed off. Now, if you have other ones that are not on here, they don't count. Okay, let's see how many points you could have had all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Wow, this is a lot of points. Let's count by fives. Five, 10, 10, 15, 20, 25, 26 points. You could have had 26 points today. Good job. How many did you get? Okay. Oh, hey, let's throw some math in. What does 26 round to? Does it round to 20 or to 30? And the answer is, if you said 30, you are right. Good job. Let's erase this. Get this all off of here. I love when things work out and we all are on the same page and we are doing the same thing and that's what's happening right now. We are thinking in the same direction. Okay, I want you, you can use your, um, you can use your, let's just, let's just, what should we do? Let's do thumbs up, thumbs down. Can we do that? Thumbs up, thumbs down. Let's do that. Okay, I'm going to read some sentences. If they are correct, thumbs up. If they are not correct, thumbs down. Okay, so let's start with Calvin. Calvin, you're going to be the person I'm going to ask in the end here after this sentence. See if you can help me, okay? Can I please see that book? Is this thumbs up or is this thumbs down? Can I please see that book? And Calvin, the answer you said is, Hmm, Calvin says he needs to phone a friend. Kellen, you're the next friend in line. So what do you say, Kellen? Thumbs up or thumbs down? Can or may? Can I please see that book? It should be thumbs down because we need to have may because we're asking permission to see the book. Boys, if you said thumbs down, you are correct. Okay, this one we're going to do two people, Adeline and Quinn. Adeline and Quinn, here we go. Micah sitted in that chair yesterday. Micah sitted in that chair yesterday. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Adeline and Quinn, what do you think? Mm, okay, okay, girls. And the final answer is, if you gave me a thumbs down, you are correct. Thumbs down. Micah sitted? That makes no sense. Micah sat. So you had good listening ears. Okay, this is for Caleb and Hunter. Okay, boys, are you ready? Abby learned me to make paper airplanes. Abby learned me to make paper airplanes. Is that thumbs up or is that thumbs down? Caleb and Hunter. Abby learned me to make paper airplanes. And the answer is thumbs down. That's right. It does not make good sense. Abby taught me to make paper airplanes. Did you catch that, boys? I hope you did. Okay, next two, Benjamin and Abel. Here we go. We eat it our lunch early today. We eat it our lunch early today. Thumbs up or thumbs down? Which one? Thumbs up or thumbs down? We eat it our lunch early today. Oh, I see one up, one down. What? Oh, wait a minute. Switch it right. Somebody's switching. Okay, here we go. And the answer should be, er, we ate our lunch early today. That's right. We ate our lunch early today. Those were not right. Okay, let's see if Kendall and Roman can help me. Kendall and Roman, I need to come up with an adverb for the word crawl. If you were here in school, I'd bring you up front and I'd have you crawl. Show us what an adverb for crawl would be. Do you remember what an adverb is? I'm going to borrow a taco over here from Senior Bob. Remember, an adverb describes a verb, an action word. So, crawl is my action word. How does a baby crawl? How do you crawl? Roman, what would you say? He says, quickly? Yeah. Roman's a fast guy. He can quickly crawl. What about you, Kendall? What do you think? Get used quickly. Slowly, yeah, yeah. Sometimes babies crawl slowly. Graham isn't crawling at all. But those words both end in L-Y. That's how we know they're adjectives. That's right. Good job. Now, okay, Senior Bob, there is your taco back. Boy, he is all about his tacos. We want to think carefully today to make sure that we're using adverbs in the right way with our action words and adjectives. Let's see if Brady and Ella can help me with an adjective. 
And can you give me an adjective? Uh, remember, an adjective, an adjective describes a noun, a person, place, or thing, okay? I want you to think of my Mexican sombrero, okay? How would you describe my sombrero? What's some good describing words for sombrero? Yeah, big. It's big. What's another one? Colorful. Mm -hmm. Good job. Okay, a straw sombrero. Right, good job. Okay, Layla and Lucas, you are my last two. Layla and Lucas. Oh, let's get that over there so Senor Bob does not feel bad about that. Layla and Lucas, I want you to think of an adverb. Okay, remember we're describing a verb, an action word. Okay, I want you to describe an action word for ate. Like how somebody eats or ate their food. How, what would you say? Yeah, messily. It was all over their face. Sloppily, messily. Okay, what's another one? Yeah, quickly. Some people are quick eaters. Yeah, they really are. Quickly. Good job. Find your paper for us today. We are going to get ready and we're going to follow instructions. Can you follow instructions? I think you can. You know what to do. So we're going to go right down this list. The sentences are on the board. I need your help again. So let's get ready. It says, a verb is a word that shows action. <sighs> We know that a verb shows action. The subject tells who or what this, who or what did the action of the verb. It also tells who this or what the sentence is about. A noun is a person, place, or thing. Some nouns are also subjects in sentences. An adjective is a word that describes a noun. It often answers the question, what kind, how many, about the noun. And an adverb is a word that describes a verb. It often tells us how, remember how, the action of the verb was done. We're going to follow these directions. Okay, get your pencil ready. I am going to get our markers ready. <clears throat> Let's use this blue, or here's a brown. Maybe this will brown for a change, okay? It says, read the sentences. Draw two lines under each verb. Okay, we're going to read each sentence, and we're going to look for the verbs. Okay, Calvin. I'm going to you look for the verb in the first one, Kellen the second one, Adeline the third one, and Quinn the fourth one. Verb show action. Okay, are you ready? Here we go. Ben quickly ate the red apple. What's my action word, Calvin? That's right. It's eight. Underline it two times. Okay, can you see that? Okay, next sentence. Are you ready, Kellen? The small boy said the Bible verse perfectly. Yeah, our action word is said. Nice job. Okay, Adeline, here we go, sentence number three. The huge lion walked proudly. What's my action word? Uh-huh, walked. And Quinn, the last one is yours. Looking for the action word. Oh, maybe Mrs. Craft's in the way. James and Daniel built a red cart. What's my action word? Mm -hmm. Built. Okay, four of you, very good answers. Let's go down to number two. Draw one line under each subject. Okay, let's get our blue crayon, our blue crayon, blue marker. And we're going to draw one line under the subject. Remember that some sentences may have more than one subject. This is for Caleb, Hunter, Benjamin, and Abel. Okay, Caleb, first one's yours. Ben quickly ate the red apple. Who or what is our sentence about? Yeah, it's about Ben. Wish I had Ben do this one, right, Ben? Sorry about that. We're going to draw a line under one right there. Thank you. Okay, next one is Hunter. Hunter, are you ready? Hunter, the small boy said the Bible verse perfectly. Who's our sentence about? Mm -hmm. Boy. Are you doing this at the same time? No. You know what? You're just using pencil. Mrs. Crafts using this to kind of make it different, okay? Are you ready? And let's see who's next. Abel? Yeah. Okay. Oh. Ben, sorry, Ben, I'm going back to you. Ben, next sentence, the huge lion walked proudly. Who's our sentence about? Mm -hmm. The lion. And Abel, here we go. James and Daniel built a red cart. So who's our sentence about? Yeah, James and Daniel, two people in this one. Watch out, tacos. I'm not taking your tacos, Senor Bob. Okay, number three, find and draw boxes around all the nouns, even the subjects, okay? So I'm going to use a green marker for that so you can see them. We're looking for all nouns, even subjects. 
Wow. Okay. Roman, Brady, Ella. Oh, sorry. Kendall, Roman, Brady, and Ella. You got a lot of work ahead of you. Kendall, you're first. Kendall, all the subjects, all, sorry, all the nouns in the first sentence. Ben ate quickly the red apple. Can I try that again? Ben quickly ate the red apple. Okay. What are some person, places, and things? Mm -hmm. Ben. Okay. We're going to put a box around Ben. Remember making a box, not a circle. Okay. And what, is there anything else? Yeah. Apple. Good job, Ken Kendall. Nice. Okay. Next one is Roman. Roman. The small boy said the Bible verse perfectly. Okay. Any nouns, person, places, or things? Yeah. Boy. Anything else? Mm hmm Bible. Mm hmm Anything else? Can you think anything else? Do you see anything else? Person, places, or things? Uh-huh. Verse. Now, you said Bible. I agree the Bible is a thing. But today, Mrs. Craft's not going to let it be a thing. You know why? We're going to need it later for adjectives. So I'm going to take that box away. I'll explain later. But Roman, you were correct in saying that it was a noun. We're going to take that one away. Okay? But verse, we're going to leave there. Okay, how about the next one? That would be Brady. Okay, Brady, are you ready? Any nouns you see in the huge lion walked proudly? What do you see? Yeah, lion. lion. Lion is the only one. Brady was correct on that. And what about you, Ella? Okay, any nouns? James and Daniel built a red cart. Mm -hmm. Our subjects are nouns. James and Daniel. Oh, John, Senor Bob. And what was the other one you said? Okay, cart. Cart is correct. Now, we're very colorful sentences up here, aren't we? Now, number four says, look at the nouns and draw a circle around each adjective. Draw a small arrow from the adjective to the word it describes. Okay, I have purple. Are you ready? Okay, here we go. This is for Madison and Layla and Lucas and back to Calvin again. Okay, so let's look at the first one. We're looking for adjectives, words that describe a noun. Okay, so Ben, is there anything um, Madison that describes Ben? Hmm, it doesn't say short Ben, tall Ben, boy Ben. It doesn't say anything like that. So Ben does not have any describing words. Is there anything that describes apple? It tells me what kind or how many. Yeah, there is. Red. Good job. So we're going to circle red, put an arrow over to apple. Can you do that? Circle red and put the arrow over to apple. Okay, let's go to the next one. And that's Layla. Okay, Layla, we're looking for words that describe nouns. These are adjectives. Okay, do you see any? The small boy said the Bible verse perfectly. Yes, small. What kind of boy? A small boy. Okay, draw that like that. Anything else? Yes, this is where Bible comes in. Bible this time is actually an adjective and it's going to describe verse. What kind of verse? Bible verse. Okay, anything else? Mm -mm. I don't see anything else either. Okay, let's go down to the next one. Lucas, this is yours. The huge lion walked proudly. Any describing words? Yeah, what kind of lion is it? It is a huge lion. Circle huge, put that arrow over to the lion. And the last one, Calvin. Okay, are you ready? James and Daniel built a red cart. Okay, what kind of cart is it? Mm -hmm. It's a red cart. Okay, we're going to draw that arrow over to red. Good job. Whew, we're almost done. Number five, look at the verbs and draw a circle around each adverb. Draw a small arrow from the adverb to the verb it describes. Okay, we're going to do that. Are you ready? Okay, this is going to be for Kellen. Kellen, do you see any adverbs? Anything that describes our verb, our action word. Ben quickly ate the red apple. Remember, it's going to ask the, answer the question, how? How did Ben eat? And it has that clue. Do you remember what most adverbs have? That's right. It has L-Y at the end. So how did Ben eat? Yes, he quickly ate. Quickly. He ate quickly. Mrs. Craft's chair keeps sliding backwards and backwards and backwards. That's right. 
Okay, are you ready? Here we go, next one. Number two is gonna be for, um, who did I just say that was for? Kellen, was that yours? I hope it was yours, Kellen. I think it was. Let's go to Adeline. Adeline, the small boy said the Bible verse perfectly. Is there anything that do scribes said? Tells me how. Is there anything that tells me how? That's right. He perfectly, it has that L-Y on the end. That's my clue. I'm going to circle perfectly, and I'm going to take my arrow all the way up to said. We're getting lots of circles and lots of arrows, aren't we? Okay, Quinn, next one's yours. The huge lion walked proudly. How did the lion work, walk? That's right, he walked proudly. Oh good, that wasn't very far, was it? And let's see, Caleb, let's see, look at the last one, see if there's anything that describes our verb. James and Daniel built a red cart. Is there anything that describes built? In this sentence, there is not anything that describes built. You did an amazing job. Good detective work there, okay, Caleb? Okay, turn it over to the back. Lots of things to do on the back, but these are all easy things that you can accomplish on your own. It says, read the sentences. Choose an adverb from the box that describes the verb in each blank. Remember that adverbs tell how the action of the verb is done. Let's read across the row. Read with me. Are you ready? Quickly, quietly, hard, softly, sweetly, gently, slowly, loudly, high, rapidly. Let's see what we could put in that first one. What do you think? It'll be our freebie, okay? Let me get my little thing here. And I can put it in and I can mark mine too. And then you and I have it done together, okay? Let me get it in here. Sometimes it goes very easy and sometimes it goes very hard. Let's see, okay, here we go. High in the mountains, the wind blows blank. High in the mountains, the wind blows blank, Hunter. How does the wind blow? Quickly, gently, quietly, slowly, hard, loudly, softly, high, sweetly, rapidly. What would you like to put? You want to put quickly? Okay, he said quickly. Now, you can choose a different word. Maybe you want to say the wind blows gently or softly. Okay, quickly. An eagle flies blank above the trees. How does an eagle fly? Quickly, quietly, hard, softly, sweetly. I think they're quiet. We don't hear it. We don't hear them at all, do we? Or is it rapidly? Hmm, which one would you like? I'm going to go quietly. Let's do one more. A mother moose calls blank to her calf. Hmm. Do you think we would hear a mother moose calling her calf? Do you remember those bugling elk? Could you hear that? You can hear it all the way across the valley. I'm going to go loudly, okay, because she might think that that calf is in danger, and she might want him to get, get his attention right away. Okay, so do you see what you're doing? Choose the words from the box. Put them down here. Now, maybe you find one that you like better in a different place. You can erase and switch it around, okay? Number two, read the sentences. Think of an adjective, a describing word to write in each blank. Remember, an adjective describes a noun by telling what kind and how many. Don't use the same words over and over and over again. Okay? Don't go big, 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 small, 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 cute, cute, cute. No. One time you use it, then think of a different one. The world is full of words. If I go camping, I would be sure to pack blank shirts. Now, don't write the number. Write the number word. I would pack three three shirts. How many boots are you going to pack? Two boots. Okay. And how many socks are you going to pack? Are you going to be gone for three days? Think how many days. Yep. So, I'm going to pack six socks and a blank walking stick and a... What kind of walking stick do we want? And a wooden... You can put whatever you want. Maybe you want to put brown. Maybe you want to put hard. Maybe you want to put crooked. Okay, what kind of walking stick? You're going to fill in with these words that answer what kind or how many. This isn't very hard at all, is it? Okay, good job. Let's talk about the rest of our work for today. Today is Tuesday. Now remember, 
Mrs. Craft wants to make sure I'm going to go back to my pages so I can read this right to you so we don't get our words mixed up. Okay, so when we're doing our May 6th through May 13th, May 4th through 13th time, it says complete three cursive papers. One is a cursive test. Write a story. Oh, have you written your story yet about your adventure with Mrs. Craft? Okay, my plan Stanley. And so you can do one story and one cursive page and one test, or you can do, um, yeah, you can have however you want, but you need three pages. One of them will be a cursive test. The other two have to be cursive writing papers. It's on this page right here in case mommy doesn't know where it is. It's the bottom of the page where it says, don't forget. Okay. So you want to do that. And then for reading, you are going to complete two pages, even on the short week. So you have three days, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So two of those days, you need to do a reading worksheet. Today, our reading worksheet is called Narrow Escape. Ooh, look who's coming. A fox. Who likes to eat bunnies? A fox. Oh, there's another fox. Uncle Bunny better pay attention. He better see what's going on. Don't forget to do the back, okay? So two reading worksheets on Monday, Tuesday, or Wednesday. Two reading worksheets the next week, okay? But when it comes to writing, you only have to do three writing pages from Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. So three writing pages in the six days. That sounds a little confusing, I know, but if mommy reads it and has a problem, tell her to call me. Today, here's a story you can read, write about. I thank you, God, for making me so that I can hear and feel and see. And since these good things come from you, I'll use them as you want me to. That's a very nice poem, isn't it? If you do this beautiful poem, make sure you skip lines and do your best right. Do you notice? Smaller and smaller lines all the time. Why do we have smaller and smaller lines? What are we getting ready for? Mm-hmm. Yeah, we're getting ready for third grade. That's right. Well, today is also a day where we have health to do. Sorry about that. Mrs. Craft put my health book away. Not thinking. Oh, now you get to see me. Would you like me to see you do my exercise? No, I get dizzy. Okay. So you want to have your health book, okay? Today for health. Let's go back to our regular page so Mrs. Craft knows. Okay, and we don't get this wrong. We're on Tuesday, lesson 145. Yep. Health, you're going to read pages 38 to 40. 38 to 40. Did you see me pause in all this? You know why I paused? Lindsay just was FaceTiming me with Graham. Guess what he was doing? They were outside sitting on their porch, and he was sitting in a little waiting pool. Yeah, I should have showed you. I should have turned it around to show you, but I paused it. It was 85 degrees there today, and she thought it'd be fun to put him in some water. He loves his bath. He was having a fun time and splashing, and then all of a sudden, he's just learning how to sit up. All of a sudden, he went back like this. Party was over. He was done. He was ready to go inside. Okay, sorry. That's why Mrs. Craft got off track. So page 38 talks about caring for your eyes. Eardrum? temporary for a short time, permanent will not change. And then we're going to talk about your nose. Do your nose, does your nose bother you? We want to keep your nose healthy too. So 38, 39, and then you're going to turn the page. Oh, sneezing steps. That's really important with COVID. We want to always remember to keep our sneezes in our elbow, cover our faces, wash our hands. That's right. And then you have questions to answer. Boys and girls, on May 15th, you're not going to just bring me your binder full of work. You're going to bring me your health book, your spelling book, your reading book. And I'm going to look through all these pages and see how you did. I'm going to check your work. That's what a teacher does. That's how you're going to get your good grades. That's right. You answer the questions. That's an easy A. I know you can do that. So make sure you are. Don't forget to turn those into Mrs. Craft. Okay. Do we cover everything except for? I want my tacos, my adjective and adverb tacos. Make sure that you're doing your best job on your work. If you have any questions, give me a call. Senior Bob and I both say hola for today. Have a great day. Bye.